First we're going to start with the polymer grip and a trigger and just make sure when you're reassembling the trigger that the uh, over travel screw is towards the bottom of the trigger guard. Then we're going to, once you get the trigger and the grip, reassemble the mag release by putting the uh, spring first and then a plunger key together. Once you have that together, reinsert into the grip and slightly push on it with your weak hand as you're twisting clockwise to lock it in. Now we'll reassemble the grip to the uh, lower half of the frame. Note that the bushing's got a flat spot on it that will go towards the top of the frame from the inside of the grip. Start with the uh, larger screw. Don't don't over tighten it at this point. Repeat the same process on the other side. Once you have that together, now we can proceed to the uh, front trigger guard screw. They come in three uh, pieces. There's a bushing and two small screws. Most of the time the uh, one screw stays with the bushing. Push it through the grip and a frame and reinstall the other screw. At this point we'll tighten both of them up nice and snug. And also make sure that the uh, larger grip screws are secure at this point. All right, now we're going to reinstall the uh, ejector. Line up the two uh, holes, tap it in slightly, and reinsert the retaining pin from the ejection port side. Make sure that doesn't protrude on the inside of the frame as the slide will not go on if it's protruding from one side or the other. Okay, now we're going to proceed to the uh, sear and the disconnector. This is a disconnector and a sear that goes right on top of it. Make sure that the flat part that rides against the uh, trigger goes in a down position, faces down, and the sear goes right on top of it. The other thing that you want to be careful about, the way it sits, this is the bottom of the uh, disconnector where it sits, and the top of the disconnector needs to go through the top of this frame. Line up the sear and the disconnector with the hole and insert the uh, smaller pin. Now we're going to install the uh, hammer. We'll insert the uh, sear spring and make sure that the left leaf of the spring sear spring will touch will sit on top of the sear and the bottom of it there's a notch on the bottom of the uh, grip make sure that it inserted in there before you insert the mainspring housing we'll reassemble the mainspring housing Be careful when you're compressing the uh, mainspring housing spring and the cap 
that it doesn't go flying on you. Insert the mainspring housing about three quarters of the way. Reinsert the grip safety. And make sure that the strut sits right in the center of the mainspring housing cap. As you can see, sometimes it gives you a little bit of a hassle. There you go. At this point, insert the magwell. Once you have that together, we'll proceed to the uh, MB safeties. Make sure that the hammer is cocked before you reinstall the uh, left sided safety. Insert the uh, plunger tube assembly and drop the safety in. As you're squeezing it together with both fingers, compress the uh, plunger and snap it into place. Now we'll move on to the uh, upper half of the firearm. First thing we're going to do is reassemble the extractor. Insert the uh, two aftex springs. Cover with the cap. As you're inserting it into the slide, you're going to notice there's a step about a quarter of an inch from the back of the slide. You'll have to compress the cap on the extractor to get past that point. You can use a firing pin or a small Allen key. Uh, after inserting the extractor, compress the spring, push down on the extractor as you're pulling out the uh, firing pin or uh, tool that you use to uh, compress the spring. Now at this point we're going to grab the firing pin stop and fit it just to make sure that everything lines up. We'll reassemble the firing pin, insert into the channel, start the firing pin stop and by compressing the firing pin and pushing down on the firing pin stop that assembly is complete. Now we'll proceed to the guide rod reassembly. Usually the, I like to assemble the cut part of the spring towards the top of the reverse plug. And once again when you're compressing it to capture, capture it with the uh, little L-shaped pin, be careful that it doesn't spring on you. To reinstall the barrel make sure that the link is in a down position. before you insert the uh, guide rod and the reverse plug you need to pull back on the uh, link pin to insert it. At this point remove the pin and the upper half assembly is complete. As you can see I didn't push the uh, ejector pin evenly with the frame so we'll have to adjust this at this time as the uh, slide would not go all the way through. Line up the link with the slide stop hole. Insert the slide stop, line it up with the uh, middle notch press down into it and a complete firearm is assembled at this point.